Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann and welcome to the channel. We have some more reaction content for you. And today we are taking a look at the official release date announcement trailer, which I might actually look to see if there's another trailer, like a gameplay trailer or something like that, for Chernobylite, which is an upcoming sci-fi survival horror RPG. Which, guessing by the name of Chernobylite, we might see some fucking, like, radiation Cronenberg monsters. And survival horror is always a good, nice, fun time, depending on what the actual experience might be. Athena Sweat Swan. <laughs> oh, good. Something that people can make me jump and cry and scream over. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I do enjoy survival games. I do, to an, a, an extent, enjoy horror games. Sci-fi is neat, and RPGs are great. So, we have a lot of the ingredients for a good experience. But let's see if, um, if it actually looks appealing or not. So, without further ado, let's begin. Rated Mature. Ooh. Not playing games. Hello. A blink of an eye takes 300 milliseconds. And it can change everything. Tatiana, my love. You've been gone for so long. Everything I did has led me up to this moment. Some stalker shit. I'm a man of science. I'm not counting on miracles. I will be meticulous. I will be thorough. I won't put my guard down. I will find allies. This looks fucking sick. You cannot succeed alone, but there are others who will help you. I will survive day after day. Travel beyond space and time if need be. All I need is a plan for everything to change. All it takes is a blink of an eye. I'm coming for you, <laughs> no matter what. Holy shit, that was cool. July 2021. That's only two months away. That was fucking cool. XCOM meets Resident Evil, Russian Fallout. Yeah, this that was fucking cool, man. Is there more? Like, that looked fucking sick. Is there other trailers? Mm, it looks like some people have actually gotten to play a little bit of it right now. Um, we're gonna go trailer. I don't want to see someone else talking about it. Here's a story trailer. All right, sick. Also from the actual website i didn't th this game has had some trailers already here's the actual announcement trailer let's do this one first let me make sure this isn't playing okay let's this is the actual announcement trailer but that was fucking cool chernobyl it took everything from me everything but my life now it has come back for it Oh, oh no, that's not okay. That's not okay either. That's not okay. Seems like just the right amount of spooks. Just enough to make you uncomfortable is what it is. To where you're just always uncomfortable. It's not about how you face your fears. It's about how you survive them. Holy shit. Holy shit. How do I... Alright, we got... This is the story trailer. Although I think we already know what the story is, but... Okay. 
Неблагоприятная радиационная обстановка. You can't touch or smell it. Radiation. You can't see it coming. It's already inside you. Yeah, that, that's what sucks. Another one. To him too. We can't survive like that's this. That's a big bullet. Deforming hostile groups. But it's changing every atom of your body. I can't help you. You're on your own. Hunt them down. All of them. Leave before it's too late. Oh no. Do not engage. Okay, seriously, what's with the fucking dolls though, man? You've never won. Oh. Oh no. Oh no. Shove the fucking flare in there, that's fair. I just to find when. It'll make your eyes glow green and turn your soul black. Holy shit, this is fucking cool. Like, this is fucking cool. This is fucking cool. All right, I'm sold. I want it now. It says it's on Steam. Um, is is there already a fucking Steam page for it? Let's take a little look, see, because that's fucking cool. Chernobyl Light. It's thirty dollars. Apparently, you can already play it. It's been in early access for a little while. Holy God. And and his full version is supposed to come out in July. Because it's light? Ah, oh, dang it, Athena. Dang it. Ah. Oh. Ah. Ah. Chernobyl Light is available for a lower price during early access, and the price will be raised at full release. Okay. So if you're watching this, if you're watching this and you're as like gripped by this game as I just was, um, if you want it, you you need to go get it, and then the full version of it is gonna come out in two months ish, six weeks to nine weeks. I don't know. It's May twentieth when I'm recording this. It's probably like May twenty second when you're watching it or when it went live. Um, yeah, that looked so freaking cool. Like, the the entire presentation, the setup of it was sick. God. That isn't even, like, when I read this little description of what it was of this, like, sci-fi survival horror RPG, I was like, I don't know what we're getting. That wasn't it. Whew. That was spicy. Hmm. Hmm. I like it. I like it. I'm ready. I'm ready. I like it. I like it a lot. All right, anyway. Yeah. I have nothing else to say beyond, I love it, it's great. I love it, it's great. That was such a great trailer. That looks like such a great experience. God, and all, like, and what's great, what's really great about what we just saw is that, like, obviously, the core premise of it is Chernobyl went off, and the you're still living in the surrounding area, everything's fucked, mutations from radiation are happening very rapidly and all that stuff. And, but there's just this little like touch of that mysticism of whatever the timey wimey shit with like the big radiation rock is. And I feel like your ultimate goal is essentially to save your, whoever she is, Tatiana, um, whoever, whoever she is. I, I mean, I'm getting the impression that it's, it's his wife, but you know, could be his sister or something like that. We don't know. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like, just that nice little touch. Nice little touch. Been fooled by trailers before, though. Yeah. There's always that chance. But I've also been, like, the opposite of, like, oh, man, this trailer kind of sucked. Oh, I'll skip it. And then everyone else is like, this game was great. And I'm like, fuck, I wish this game had better trailers. That happens with movies, too. Some movies will have really bad trailers. And every and some people go see it like, this movie's great. And you're like, really? A trailer? Man, it looked like it fucking sucked. 
I bet you aren't trying to save her. She may have died there, and now you see her there. Well, I mean, if depending on what that time shit is, if you're trying to, like, go back in time to, like, prevent the Chernobyl event from happening, maybe. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. Either way, looked really cool. Looked really cool. I'm in. I'm in. That was sick. All right. Anyway, you, you watching right now, what did you think about it? Did it look like something that you were potentially interested in? If so, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Or if not, actually, leave your thoughts down in the comments below. Let us know. What did you think? Um, anywho. Anywho. Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't want to leave a comment below and you'd like to keep up the conversation somewhere else, you can catch up with us on Discord and Twitter. And speaking of Discord, some of these trailers are dropped into a dedicated channel on the Discord server where you could drop trailers of your own. We could check them out on stream. And we do stream on Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays with the reactions happening after our regularly scheduled content on Tuesdays and Thursdays. You're more than welcome to be there and we'd love to see you. But... We're going to go ahead and get out of here, everybody. So if you do go check out one of those other YouTube videos or if we see you in the live stream, thank you and enjoy.